and welcome to GR TV. Here we are at the Stan the Man Fitness Academy. I'm Sarah Missy Howitt here speaking with Stan the Man himself, eight times world champion and the only martial artist ever to be inducted to Australia's Sporting Hall of Fame. Also with me I have Joe Nader, founder of Australia's leading premier live combat sports promotions company, Power Play Promotions. And here we are today to talk about all things fight related and also Power Play 27, the next fight coming up. So we'll start with Stan. Stan. Stan, you're, uh, today you're a motivational speaker and co-founder of the Stan the Man Group. What finally inspired you to open up your own academy? Um, it was a passion that uh, my brother and I have had for quite some time. We finally decided that uh, now's the right time especially with some of the recognition that I got in the last few years, as you said, to be inducted in the Sports Australia Hall of Fame uh, in 2013 and 2014 as uh, one of the top five mentors in the country. So it kind of works hand in hand with everything we're doing. We're very excited about the Academy. As you can see, we're live right now here during the Jab Bang Circuit. Uh, very excited about the things we're doing and the programs we're putting together for all the people in our community and for everyone that's interested, they know where to find us. Excellent. Um, you and Joe go back years, back to the Fitzroy All-Star days under the guidance of Master Dana Goodson. Now, for quite some time you've been an ambassador of Power Play. What is, what is it about Power Play that makes you stay on board? Yeah, what I like about uh, Power Play Promotions is the fact that Joe has experience. Uh, he's been there as a fighter. He understands what a fighter goes through. And um, unfortunately for Joe, he's got a big heart for all fighters and that's why he's probably not going to be the most successful businessman in this industry because of his generosity towards fighters. Um, but that's something I hope that fighters don't take for granted and uh, that's why he gets good caliber of fighters fighting under his banner because they know uh, he's a man of his word and uh, they always get what they are promised and they get treated like professional athletes and that's why he's got a lot of credibility now throughout the, the whole market out there. I can certainly vouch for that also. Joe, you've been a promoter now for going on 10 years. Um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about where you started promotions and what your passion in, is about it? Look, my passion is about, the, with the promotions, my passion is more about just trying to bring out the best in these fighters and give them the opportunities and bring out the best of the fighters, bring out the best fighters from overseas and give them the opportunities over here and also bring the local boys for an international opportunity. Um, there's nothing greater than when you've got a team working together trying to put on such an event, um, especially when it's a big international event and you've got you know, the, the support of Stan and, and many other greats in the, in the sport. And when you finally pull that event off at the end of the night, the rewards are just so, it's indescribable, it really is. But it's something that I love and I've got a very deep passion about and I just love doing what I do. So, the next Power Play show, Power Play 27. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that and the card coming up? Yeah. Look, Power Play 27 is more based about an international fighter coming down over here to meet our local Australian golden boy, so to speak, Masi Nuristani. We decided to go with a Greek guy because due to the hard times in Greece and what they're going through over there, since we're always bringing out these international fighters, we decided to give this Greek guy a chance to come over here and just prove himself and, and have a go at it. Um, his name is Alexandros Milos. He's aged uh, 20 years old. He's got a record of 25 fights with 22 wins and three losses. He's taken on the golden boy over here, Masi Nuristani. Masi's had something like, I think, 39 fights with 31 wins. So the, both records are really, really got a lot of credit to them and they're, they're, they're both good fighters. Um, I've seen Alexandros fight on uh, just, just on DVDs and videos and the, the, the guy's got some talent there. I think it would be a very, very good fight. I think it's a very well matched fight. But once again, it's given these boys the opportunity to come down and just, and just perform at their best level, I guess. Stan, so since um, it's Alexandros' first time fighting in Australia from Greece. Is there something you'd like to say about him to the Greek community? Yeah, look, you know, first of all, um, we're happy to embrace any fighter that comes from our motherland. And um, the young kid's got a lot of talent. He's a, he's a lovely kid. And, um, you know, we've uh, brought some talent out from uh, Greece in the past. 
as uh, the very notable uh, Mike Zambides, who now has retired. But I think it's a great opportunity for this kid because, like Joe said, the times are tough in Greece right now. Even for the young fighters with talent, uh, struggling to get the opportunities to get fights. Um, so to bring him out to Australia, it's, it's a long haul, it's a long way away. We're going to embrace him and, and, and comfort him as much as we can. But at the end of the day, he gets an opportunity to show what he's got. And if he can put on a, a good show, um, it'll be great because uh, Joe will be able to work with him in the future. And that's what it's all about, giving the kid an opportunity. But it's going to be a great, great show. I mean, some, some of the matchups Joe will mention, um, there's some really good fights on. And one of our friends and sentimental friends, uh, Rob Maniti, is fighting as well from the old stable. So what I love about Joe is um, we have a lot in common. And uh, was mentioned before, part of our legacy is to, um, to just... Uh, let people know that we came from a great master tra uh, trainer, Dana Goodson, and, and that's something in our legacy that we want to work together about and, and work together for the, f for the fighters. And, you know, to, this is a great opportunity for, again for all the local boys. It's a great show, and I'm excited to be part of it. As are we all. So, Powerplay 27, we have five double passes to give away to GRTV watchers. Uh, Joe, would you might like to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, look, they go into a, it's a competition where if you just go onto the website and just look up all the information, there's five double passes giveaways for the night. So get on there and have a look and hopefully you can be one of those winners. But also on the night, it's just the undercard, the stacking of the undercard is amazing. Um, as Stan said, we've got our past uh, stable fella, Rob Minetti, who's 45 years old but he's still mixing it with these young kids and it's so pleasing to see because we came from the same family and once upon a time we always used to train together, you know, so that's something that's very special to us, I believe, but we've also got like Ramesh Habib, Brent Thames, uh, Hassan Mansouri, um, we've got Koda Asi and our local Greek boy, Tristan Papadopoulos, who's only 18 or 19 years old, who I've got the pleasure of training. This kid is going to be amazing, give him a couple more years. He's already have a lot of people talking about him, but give him a couple more years and it's going to be so exciting to watch. There it is, Powerplay 27. Uh, the winners of the five double passes will be contacted by August the 10th. You can go to the Facebook page, Powerplay Promotions, or to the website, powerplaypromotions.com.au. You should see it on your screen right now. Joe, Stan, thank you so much for the interview. It's been lovely speaking with you all. And thank you all for watching.